Hello, my name is Ashley Baker. I'm a graduate student at the University of Oregon studying costume design. And today I'm gonna to be talking about stretching buckram to start you making your unconventional wig. So the first step that you're gonna to wanna to do is cover the wig head that you're using with cling wrap or like a plastic bag or tape, just something that is plastic that um, the buckram can stick to because the problem is that buckram when it's wet gets really sticky and it has the potential to ruin whatever wig head you're working with if you haven't put a protective layer over it. The next step that you're gonna to wanna to do after that is to get your buckram wet. So the buckram should be wet enough that it'll wanna collapse on itself. You don't wanna get it too wet or else you're going to lose some of the sizing that's in it. And the sizing is the adhesive that's inside of it that gives you the ability to stretch the piece and then as it dries, it'll stick to that whatever shape you made it into. So I've already wet my piece and I've been letting it sit for about 15 minutes, which is about where you want it to be since it'll be wet enough to still be moldable. However, it's not so wet that it's dripping water everywhere. So I'm gonna go grab that really quickly and we're gonna get started with stretching it out on here. And I hung it up by attaching it to a safety pin on one of the corners here and then sticking it onto a hanger so that it could drip as much as it wanted to on a towel, but it wouldn't really ruin anything. So when you put this on your wig head, you're going to want to do it what's uh, on the bias. What that means is that instead of putting it on this way, the center front of your piece is going to be one of your corners so that you can get the stretch of the bias um, that'll help you when you're molding the shape on here. It gives you basically more breathing room to get a closer shape. And if you don't know what the bias is, that's okay. Typically in a fabric like this, this is technically a woven fabric, you have what's called the warp, which is the vertical, and the weft, which is the horizontal, um, basically the threads in the fabric. So when you put that on a bias, it turns like this, and then you can actually get more stretch out of the fabric. Whereas when it's just like this and you try to pull, it's just the thread, they're not gonna move. So doing it like this gives you more room. So what I'm gonna start doing here is stretching this piece over my wig head here. So I wanna start pulling it at the front and the back and you can really get into this. I'm not wearing gloves. However, if you have gloves and you have the option, Wear disposable ones, I recommend wearing them just because this gets really sticky really fast. So I'm gonna have to wash my hands after this. But what I'm trying to do right now as I'm doing this is I'm trying to get all the areas that I can see through here where my hairline is. This is actually really important. I'm trying to get that as flat as possible because those are the areas that are most important for me to have flat and fitting. So now you can see it's already sitting really close to my face there, which is what I want. And I'm gonna keep pulling all the way around. You wanna be sure that this pulling that you're doing is even as well. If you get it uneven, you're gonna have an uneven piece in the end. It's not gonna be as fun to work with. I'm gonna move this whole thing forward actually. So I'm just gonna keep stretching this and stretching this readjusting it until I get something close to what I want. And then I can take my elastic band here, which is what's going to hold this down. I can stick it on here. I already like how this front is looking, so I think I'm actually going to start sticking push pins in here. So what this does is it starts to anchor down the pieces that I want. There we 
go. And you can see I'm getting it really flat across here as flat as I can. So I don't want any awkward bumps or bits in my final piece. So the flatter I get it, the better it'll look. Buckram, by the way, is normally used to make hats. So it's a little bit more unconventional than usual, usual that I'm actually using it to make unconventional hair. However, unconventional hair is in its own way a type of hat. So I think this kind of makes sense. I'm just continuing to go around here. Getting everything situated. The back here, I think, is going to be the harder part. And if you do have extra fullness that you just can't seem to stretch out of the wig for the buckram, um, what you'll want to do then is just distribute it evenly throughout the entire piece so you don't get awkwardly huge bulges like that. So I'm going to keep stretching this out in the back here because I think I can stretch out more of this fullness that's happening. stickiness does get really difficult to work with over time. This is why you want to work with it while it's still fairly wet. Okay. You want to go back and forth and make sure that you're pulling fairly evenly throughout the whole piece as you're doing this. Also be careful about touching your shirt or any part of your body to this because the sizing glue will also stick to that. But once you have this all set up, nice and neat, I'm just gonna evenly distribute this a little bit more. I'm not getting as much stretch. So, and it's okay to have a little like that. You just don't want super big bulges.
still trying to get this as flat as I can. Stretching out the excess. It's okay if the excess or the kind of bulginess exists beyond where your hairline is because that's not going to be in the final product. Because that will be cut off. You might have the opportunity to cheat a little bit too. My hands are incredibly sticky from this right now, by the way. You want the elastic to always be underneath your hairline as you go around to, so that way you're making sure that the stretching is happening all the way through your piece. So then all that's left to do is to let it dry and then I can cut off all these excess pieces here and I'll have a stretched buckram piece. Once again, my name is Ashley Baker. I'm a graduate student at the University of Oregon studying costume design. Thanks for watching.